Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is going to be a new mod map tour of Royalton, Minnesota. If this is what you're looking for, please stay tuned. Alright folks, welcome back to the channel. So this is going to be a new mod review, kind of. This is not a mod hub map. This is PC only as it sits right now. Um, I anticipate it will only be PC available. Um, now, this is from TJ Customs FS19 Edits Facebook. Um, I want to mention a few things before we get into this. This map is technically not released. Again, I'll have a link down below if you do want to download it. Um, make sure you follow these instructions and you listen to what I have to say before you download it and try to play it. Uh, so this is a Royalton map edit. Uh, this is the original beta edit. And I'm reading this off of the Facebook page. I have fixed a few things, but major changes I've done are not in this. Only putting this back up, and this is in all caps, for those that have messaged me, you need to have all mods in the zip activated to run the map. I don't care if it replaces a current mod you already have, map won't run without them. Global company requ required, so just remember that. Um, you need to unzip that. It's not that hard to do. You'll download it from there. If you click the link that's link, uh, linked up on um, that post, make sure you read the post completely through, just as I've kind of read part of it to you. Read it through, read it through, read it through. I can't tell you enough. PC only, PC only, PC only. Uh, it doesn't matter how many times I say those things. I'll still get comments down below. But regardless of that, I figured I'd come on. This was uh, quite Hitman actually brought this map to my attention um, because it looked, you said it looked like a good map. And uh, yeah, I wanted to get on here and give it a go, give it, take a look around it. So I don't always do off mod hub maps. Um, I'm trying to do them more and more because uh, there's a lot of really good maps out here. And I think this is a really good US map that I think a lot of you guys would really enjoy. Uh, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and just jump into it and take a look around. Uh, first off, let me just speed myself up and let's make it just so we can see a little bit better, bring it up to noon in here. Um, and let's go into the menu here. So we'll start over here to make sure that's oh, that's off. That's down to one. Contracts on fields available. We'll take a look at uh, animal pens in a second. I'm in new farmer mode. Now, again, it's it, this is a beta edit, so it's not necessarily, I'd say, done per se. They're still editing it. They're working on a major update. Uh, so anyhow, $100,000 in, in new farmer mode. Uh, you don't start off with any vehicles, which is fine. Um, and again, that's part of that. So... Um, a lot of different cell points. We'll take a look at those as we go. And now here's the map. Uh, so new farm one. I don't believe we actually, do we own anything? Just the main chunk here, which is uh, $0 to buy all the kind of peripheral areas and stuff like that. Field prices, fairly expensive. But again, <laughs> once we get out there, you'll see how big some of these fields truly are. Uh, there's small fields here too, which I really like actually. So you could kind of start small and build your way up before you're able to hit some of the big fields on here. Um, which is great. Um, there is uh, two new crops in this map. There is, well, I'd say there's two additional crops. I should say they're not necessarily new. Uh, there's alfalfa and wet corn. Um, actually, it looks like there's a lot of alfalfa out there, a lot of uh, wet corn out there. Uh, what else we got a lot out of there? Is it soy, looks like? It looks like it's soy and wet corn that's out there right now. Um, yeah, so alfalfa and wet corn. Um, yeah, I love the train going through. Actually, can we? Well, it's here. Quick, come back. We can't get to it. I'll say I try to jump into it and see if we can drive it. We'll check that later. Um, I'm not sure if we can or not on this map, at least at this time. Uh, but yeah, we start right here. This is where I started out in new farm mode. Let's go back into the map here for a second. Oh, we do own a, um, a couple of fields. Looks like 65 is part of this, and 71, it says we own... I don't know if that's 70. That must be technically 71, maybe right there. Maybe this, I don't know, because that we don't technically own. It says we have 71 highlighted there, but um yeah so anyhow regardless of that what we're going to do is we're going to do a flyover at the very end and take a look at everything we're going to buy a vehicle here and then i think we're going to just going to head up and slowly hit all these cell points take a look at all the stuff through here uh, take a look up here at this farm and then we're going to drive back down this way head all the way down to here take a look at the bottom maybe even curve well we might actually do this come down to here cur curve over head down and take a look down here at the bottom um, and then we'll fly around and take a look and we're not going to hit all the animal pens there's a lot of pig enclosures on here um and but yeah let's go in the store actually real quick so talking about that there are some modded placeables that are part of the zip file that you download um so these are the things you own technically speaking and again you could sell them off if you didn't have any plans to use them but that's kind of what you start off with so uh, just be aware of that so um at the store here we'll go ahead and just uh purchase ourselves a pickup truck to drive around there we go and again, we're just going to take a look around and see what we can find out on this bad boy. So it looks like it's a pretty cool, really detailed map. So just give you kind of an idea of what's to come. And I'm sure this will get more detail. I love that having that over the shop because every real tractor dealer, I mean, they got tractors parked all over the place like that. So, um, yeah, which is awesome. And behind us, speaking of which, we have uh, Lakes Gas, which I'm assuming is probably going to be a fill up for um, anhydrous. Uh, so 
we go into the store actually here, um, we do have some anhydrous ammonia equipment that you can use. I'm not an expert on that. I'm not going to go into that at all, but it is an option on here and you can see the fill types down there below um, for these different items here. So you have uh, kind of a new option. Actually, let's see in here, if we scroll down, do those show up in here? As you can see, we got some different, uh, looks like some different types of stuff going on in here. And again, I'm not an expert on all these different symbols. It looks like this is some alfalfa stuff. That's wet corn there. Uh, but yeah, so cool map. We've got some cool details on it. Again, we're just going to drive around and take a look and see what we can see. So we got Lake's Gas back there on the corner. <laughs> it looks so cool. I love this. I love it already. Um, right here, looks like we actually have a buy point. Maybe, potentially for something. We zoom in here. Maybe it's, uh, it may not be anything. Could be just losing it. Well, it says seeds, Meridian seeds in there, so I bet you it's a buy point for seeds. Um, okay, so there's a couple animal dealers here. We got one right here, and I believe there's another one right over here. Yep, right here. So you can probably, yep. Okay, so anywhere in there, a couple animal dealers. And then we do have the livestock supply, which I think that's, um, let's see, there's probably, yeah, livestock supply, that's a sell point. Sorry, they're a little bit stacked in there, but that's okay. Uh, let's see, livestock supply is going to buy uh silage grass hay and straw as well as looks like uh, alfalfa and corn potential corn that's corn no, that's corn right there i'm not sure looks like some form of corn whatever these guys are over here and then uh looks like soy at the end here i'm not sure why soy and the symbol for corn in there twice it might be a different fill type again not an expert just here to show you around the map so um and that cell point's going to be it looks like right here so there you have it let's go ahead and hop back in we'll just take a drive around and Take a look. I love the roads. <laughs> roads look fantastic. I mean, you can see how much space is on this map. Um, absolutely incredible. Let's get back onto here. All right. Yeah, we'll just kind of drive through the main drag here. This would be great for some police role play on here. That's for sure. Um, okay, I love the intersection. Intersection looks great. I'm not sure if they'd want me to turn left here or not, but uh, we're going to go ahead and just do it anyways. There's no AI traffic on this map yet. So remember, again, it's all in progress. Um, so just be aware it's gonna get some updates, but if you wanted to start playing on it or have an idea of what it's like to see if it's something you're gonna look out for uh, coming out soon, then here you go. Uh, right there on the left, we do actually have a sell point. Uh, so right there, we have the Royalton Minnesota Cooperative. So if we go into here, Royalton Minnesota Cooperative, they're gonna take uh, corn that looks like dried corn. I believe that's dried corn there. Uh, so corn dry or wet corn, dry corn. And then they're also going to take uh, cotton, uh, sugar cane, sugar beets, potatoes, and it looks like all your basic crop types at this end as well. So fantastic. And then we got, it looks like, a, oh, I, might, I wonder if that's a fuel point here. I don't know if it's a fuel point or not. May not be in there yet, but I'm sure that looks like that'll be probably a fuel point at one point or another. Anyhow, we'll keep driving up the road here. Uh, Treasure City. And this, I believe, is a sell point. Yeah, Treasure Island. Treasure Island. So um, let's go ahead and take a look here. Treasure Island, where are you at? There you are. What are you guys going to buy? Milk and eggs. That makes sense. There we go. They'll take milk and eggs from me. I love the carts outside. Great detail to that. Uh, fantastic. All right, let's head up this way a little bit more. So we have uh, another sell point coming up right on here on the right. Again, they're kind of just packed in here on the highway. Uh, reed seed sales. So they probably have some seed for sale here as well. Yep, looks like seeds for sale. And then um, around the back, you can see kind of the grate in the back for the sell point. I'm assuming we're probably up at Pioneer Seeds, which is awesome. So they're going to take, uh, looks like a couple of alfalfa variants, as well as, where are we at? Why did it bring me down there? Dry corn, as well as, looks like, oh, they're going to take grass and hay, it looks like. Sugar cane, sugar beets, potatoes, and then all your basic crop types. So uh, they're taking in all sorts of stuff here at Pioneer Seeds. A DuPont company. There you go. All right, we'll go ahead and make our way up this way a little bit further. Okay, so here looks like we got a lot of buy points in here, kind of smacked into here. Uh, so if you look in here, let's be able to take a look a little bit of them. Uh, so we have the egg solutions, the nutrient uh, nutrient egg solutions. It looks like a few different points in there for purchasing. I don't see any sell points in there. We'll probably try to after we get up here. Uh, to the dairy we'll head back down and we'll try to head over into here and take a look so i think I've, these guys here are going to be um just a little bit um are going to be a little bit off the road there i'm excited to see how the whole town is kind of laid out too gosh there's a lot of cool stuff on this but yeah we'll try to head back this road um, and maybe head up over to that way 
that might be just kind of a good way to work out. And there's a cat. What's that one over there? Sorry, I gotta go check. Okay, so this guy looks like it's set as a fuel point. Okay, that makes sense. Right next to the store there. Sorry. Got distracted. All right. Back to it. I love the open road. Love it. <laughs> I love it. Fantastic. I really do feel like I'm in the American world here, an American map. It's fantastic. That reminds me of just driving through the Midwest. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, we'll continue on here. So, um, let's see. We have a curve that way. There's a couple of... Well, we'll take a look at those on the way back. So this right here, I believe, yeah, this is a cell point um, just in there. I think it's going to be in that building there. Um, we are at the... that We're just passing the biodiesel plant. So the biodiesel plant is going to take, uh, looks like, canola, sunflower, soy, corn... Uh, dry corn, wet corn. Sweet. Fantastic. You can sell that stuff there at the biodiesel plant. All right, let's get ourselves cooking along. So we're just going to, yeah, and now we're just speeding down to kind of the edge of the map. You can see off in the distance there, and we'll stop off at uh, the West River Dairy, it looks like. I love the fields. Love the fields. They're perfect. <laughs> yep, the nice round field. Kind of some strange field. There's just some strange field shapes in there. I love it. I love using the, the the PDA was used to make it all work out really good. So I like that that feature on it a lot. Oh, this thing has a different road to get up to it, huh? This isn't even off of the highway here. I see the road. It's back this way. Let's just drive drive off road. I love the texture on here. Look at the grass on that. Grass and the flowers. Yeah, that looks beautiful. Well, I thought there was a road there. Oh, I hit a tree. It's all good. It's all good. It kind of looks like there's a road in the PDA here, but they may have not put it in yet, or they may not be planning to put that one in. Since they didn't design the PDA, they're using the Google map, which I think is brilliant. All right. Let's get up over here. Here's a road. Nice little wall. I love the river through there. Oh, and I'm crashing all over the place. Ooh, a little ditch there. But yeah, that looks great. I love that on the... Look at the map. I'm sure the river goes all the way through. That's brilliant. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, that's awesome. I'm excited to fly over this thing and take a look at a lot of the good stuff on it. What a great map. All right, so here you can see all those hog pens we got out and about, and then um, ooh, we'll just hop that there. Down this way, we have a couple of cell points. It's like one in there, and then... Ooh, where's the other one, I wonder? Oop. I hate it when my mouse gets stuck on the screen like that and whips me around. Okay, so we have, looks like three. The West River Dairy Bales Feed and the Dairy. Okay, so West River. West River Dairy. Let's go back to the beginning here. They're going to take uh, soy and corn, and we'll look at all three of these at the same time as we just kind of scroll through here. And then it looks like West Dairy, the, or the West River Dairy Bales is going to take silage, grass, hay, and straw. And then if we move down a little bit further, it looks like whatever these fill types are, which I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I haven't seen those before. West River Dairy Feed is going to take those guys. And then West River Dairy Cell Point, which is right here, is going to take dry corn and wet corn. And then the bales is going to take these guys right here. I wonder if that's like maybe corn chaff and that's soy chaff, or like straw type stuff. That might be what those are. Uh, but anyhow, it's fantastic. There it is right here at the West Dairy or the West River Dairy. All right, so since we're kind of out on that map, we'll drive by Field 65, which we start off owning, and we should be able to hit the rest of the cell points on our way back through, which would be great. Oop, that's right, the ditch. All right, we'll make our way through it there. There we go. All right, we'll try to stick on the road this time. No promises, of course. A great detail on this map. It's fantastic. I love it when people take uh, the PDA or take the like Google Maps images and turn them into maps. I think it's great. There's field 65. There's your starting field right there, folks. Driving on the wrong side of the road. All over the place. All right. Off to the left, those are some buy points in there, it looks like. Actually, we can go. It looks like there's some signs in there. Let's go drive in there just to take a look at them while we're, while we're here. That says... Oh, potato cell. Okay. Potato cell. Potato storage. Okay. Interesting. I like that. Potato storage and potato storage. Cool. So you probably can store and sell potatoes here potentially, which that's pretty cool. All right. And again, all features may not work on this map. 
again it's in beta i can't emphasize that enough they're working on it this is just kind of something that you guys have available to you for the time being but it's not a finished map so make sure you're aware of that this is not a map release or anything like that um okay where are we at down here so we are at is the ampi yeah the ampi right next to us here so the ampi ampi is going to take milk that is everything so there's a milk cell point there for you all right and then up here on the left looks like getting our nice cell point yep yep right next to us there that cell point is going to be what are we at here we're at the royalton feed mill so the royalton feed mill is going to take all the basic crop types there as well as potatoes and they're going to take uh, wet corn and dry corn so there you go Lots of different cell options there. All right, so as we head down this way, yeah, we should be able to just kind of stick stick kind of out. Yeah, we'll stick to this road right down here, and this should take us, um, and then we'll try to cut through here, and I'm assuming this road's going to go up here, and then we'll take a look at this stuff through here, drive straight down here. That'll get us back onto the highway, and then we'll finish up down here before we do a tour. That'll be the plan. That will be the plan. All right. I love it. All the houses back here and everything. It's fantastic. Great detail. Great detail on it. Still driving on the wrong side of the road, but it's fine. <laughs> okay. So here, I just kind of want to take, uh, I think it's this this road. Yep, this one right here. Got a nice American flag on there. And then this uh, should take me, to be able to take a left here. I love it. Looks great. Here's back where the Stores right across the way there, so this is kind of where we started. Nice little town through here. I like that. All right, and I love that all the neighborhoods are here too. I love that. That's fantastic. This download size for this map, I believe, was uh, with all the mods, it was over a gigabyte, so it's a fairly large map. But uh, again, it's I mean, you can see why it's got a lot of detail on it. So fantastic. The river looks great. Uh, here we are at uh, another Casey's General Store here. So I'm not, I'm not sure if that's going to be a fuel point later on or not, but right now it's not. All right, we're going to get in the turn lane here. Turn right. Aha, so here we go. I uh, got a couple of, I think, potentially buy points in there. Let's get back up over here. Uh, yeah, Suncor, Crack Corn, and then Commodities, and then we got the Suncor Energy. Got a couple of things uh, piled into here. Uh, Suncor Resource Beat Pilers down there as well. We'll take a look at all these in here. Uh, so all the Suncor stuff. Yeah, it's going to be these three through there. Uh, so Suncor Technology is going to buy, between the three cell points, they're going to buy dry corn, wet corn. And they're also going to buy sugar beets, regular corn, and that's everything. So all Suncor is all about that corn. So there you go. Um, fantastic. I love it. Pretty thick forest through there as well. And again, the map goes on. If you look to the left where we're at, the map goes on a ways that way. Ways and then here's that beat cell point right here on the left. So the Suncor beat cell point, but yeah, that is fantastic, absolutely fantastic. We're coming up. I believe this is another kind of buy point. Is this here? Uh, oh, farm silo. We got a couple farm silos coming up here, right here. Fantastic. I believe right there. Is that right there? Yeah, right there. That'd be where they're at. Awesome. All right, we're gonna cut across the road here and we're gonna head out this way. I do need to check the train as well, actually. So let's do, let's go switch to trains on. Nope, there's no switching to trains yet, or maybe there won't be, but anyhow, uh, as of this time, there is not that ability for us. All right, a huge map. Look how far that looks away. Huge, absolutely huge. <laughs> Great map. I would consider playing on this map once it is fully released, for sure. This would be fantastic to play on, so. Definitely pretty cool. Actually, Kedrick Farms, I believe it's the Kedrick Farms YouTube channel, has a, a tour out, I believe, on it. There are not a tour, like a series out on it. I think they have a tour in a series, but uh, yeah, I haven't watched their stuff yet, but uh, yeah, I think it's great. They got that going on. What is this pile of goodness over here? Oh, I think that's going to be a potatoes or sugar beets or something pile at some point. But uh, yeah, here we are. Down here at the bottom corner, so I think uh, there's a couple of, oh, you can buy corn and commodities down here potentially, but uh, IFIS is the sell point that we're at. They're going to take all those basic crop types as well as potatoes and dry corn and wet corn, so fantastic. Again, corn and soy seem to be pretty high 
potential crops since there's that's what they mostly got growing on here are pretty common crops anyhow um but yeah let's go ahead and let's do a flyover i think that's what we'll work on here let's get that going definitely need some speed because this is a huge map so we're, again we're down here at the bottom we're down here at the bottom so what we're going to do is we're going to fly straight up the highway just to give you kind of an overview and again i'm going to miss stuff regardless of how you look at it uh this map is huge um it's huge which is great little farm set up there look it's just it feels like a natural landscape it doesn't feel like it's forced or anything like that but it's great i love the river going through looks like another little farm yard out there it's great love the highway going through probably an interstate probably what i would think right probably an interstate i love the neighborhood how there's just all that detail into the neighborhoods is thrown i mean look at all that it's not necessary for the map but i think it adds so much to just show that they did the detail in there and put all the stuff in and they got Looks like they're probably going to put some more houses out here at some of these roadways, but yeah, that's fantastic. Look at that out there. That looks awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, we'll head up this way. Again, we're just going to fly our way up the main drag here, essentially, and then we'll kind of do a loop around the outskirts of the town or outskirts of the map uh, to take a look at everything else. <laughs> this is awesome. This is awesome. I do hope they put a road in over here. I think that'd be kind of nice. Because I feel like I see that little indicator that's right where, if you look down to the bottom corner, that little indi spot right here, I guess I can show it here. Uh, this to me indicates like there should be a road there. I'm sure there's a road there in real life. Even a dirt road or something would be kind of nice. But uh, okay, we're going to fly around the outside and you can see the roads going through here. That's sort of taking us too long to drive through the whole thing. That's why I'm doing most of it as a flyover just because there's so much going on on this map, which is incredible. We got another main, this is kind of like a main road here as well. Looks like there's a lot of farms on it, like a little state route or something through here. Yeah, lots of farming and stuff going on through here. A little water, kind of like mud pit water type stuff through here, which is great. Little trees out here. Looks like they probably got uh, forested and then are getting replanted, which is awesome. And it all blends perfectly with the PDA. It's perfect. We're out to here. It looks like a couple more hog farm buildings here. Um, could just be decorative, but there we go. And again, lots of farms and stuff through here. <laughs> This is incredible. Is this road, uh, it looks like this uh, road is flooded out. <laughs> awesome, that's awesome. I'm not sure if that's intentional or not, but it looks great. <laughs> yeah, it probably is intentional just based on this here. I wonder if this is supposed to be a stream and they're working on it still, but anyhow, looks just great. Coming through here. Yeah, I'm sure this is probably supposed to be a water, kind of a waterway-ish there. I'm a little chaotic as I wander around and look at stuff, but yeah, lots of little farms out here. I like that. There's just there's multiple people out farming. It looks like there's lots of stuff going on. Um, it seems like on the on the on the map, which is great. This would be great for like a police role play type thing, I think as well. Yeah, this is fantastic. Another farm out this way. And if we cut this way, we're gonna head across the highway that goes down the, the center there. We'll head over to the other side of the map where a lot of the kind of the bigger fields and stuff are out at. And I mean, this field down below us, that field is massive, massive. It would take you forever to harvest that or do stuff with that, which is, I mean, that's fine. You'd have the big equipment for it, but um, there's so many different field sizes on here. It's great. If we head up over here, got some of the circular fields, which I love. Very common where I live at, or not, I guess, where I live at, but. Washington State, there's quite a few in eastern Washington that do that kind of method there. I'm um, going to have irrigation going through the center of it and stuff like that just to keep it simple. But um, yeah, fantastic. Looks like there's, yeah, there's some houses out here. I'll say always there's just driveways that they'll add stuff later, I'm sure. But oh man, great detail on it. And I can't even, and this is just, this isn't, it's not done yet. I mean, when this thing is done, it's going to be beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I mean, that already is great, but it's going to get even better, which is awesome. Down over there, another farm. Across over here, we got some more farms. And yeah, we're kind of just heading out to the end there. But yeah, that is, I mean, that's the map. It's its fantastic, it's huge. It's huge, look how big this thing is. Look how big that is. I mean, it took us a while to drive up and down that. I mean, there's huge fields everywhere here. Field six looks like it's probably the biggest. Uh, yeah, $1.2 million to buy that guy, but yeah, that's incredible. What a great map. Well done, uh, TJ Customs. Uh, this is fantastic. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this tour, drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel. And turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and watching.